Markle's visit to Fiji Street Market was cut short due to a security risk, which left many female vendors disappointed after being told they were going to meet the in-demand Duchess. The Duchess of Sussex visited Suva Market which supports the UN Women's Project Markets for Change, but huge crowds sparked absolute chaos and the former Suits actress was rushed away after only six minutes. The vendors were left devastated as they had been waiting for hours to meet Meghan. Market vendor Nina Tuimitakoro said the women had been practicing songs to sing to the Duchess as they waited for the royal to arrive. Earlier in the day, Ms. Tuimitakoro said, At the moment, we are practicing two songs which we will sing for Her Royal Highness, which is Mida Levita and the farewell song, Isa Isa Vulgar Last Dinah. After that, we will gift them a bouquet of flowers. It is not clear whether the women got to sing their songs and deliver their gifts to the Duchess. A source from Kensington Palace said the Duchess was removed from the area due to massive crowds which had formed around the market. Mirror photographer Ian Vogler, who was at the scene, said, it was crowded inside the market and really cramped. Mr Vogler added, the alleyways in the market were very narrow and I could understand why Meghan's personal protection officers would judge it to be an unsafe environment, especially with her being pregnant. It was also very hot and humid in the market and there were a lot of people in very close quarters to the Duchess, which explains why she was rushed away. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently on their landmark 16-day trip to Oceania, the first major tour the royal duo have undertaken since they tied the knot in May. Even though Meghan has cut down her schedule due to her pregnancy, which was announced as she left for Australia last week, the former Suits actress was expected to attend all her engagements in Fiji today. This morning, the royal duo visited the University of the South Pacific campus where they observed a cultural performance on the effects of climate change and delivered speeches. After her short visit to Suva Market, Meghan is due to visit the British High Commission. The Duke is attending a separate ceremony at the Kuai Suva Forest site to unveil Fiji's contribution to the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy Project. Prince Harry is following in the footsteps of Princess Diana in his dedication towards helping others and those who are in need according to Gary Marwick, one of the UK's most eminent palm readers. Mr Marwick who claims to have read over 20,000 palms during a 20-year career, adds that according to his reading, the prince possesses physical courage and is an adventurer. He told Express.co.uk, Harry follows in his mother's footsteps. Throughout Harry's life he will always be dedicated towards helping others and those who are in need, both individually and in groups. His hand shows, as do some of the other royals' hands that Harry may also hold back his emotions at times, but he will give much to others. Like his mother, Prince Harry is well known for his charitable activities, which have included founding the St. charity in 2006 to help children suffering from HIV-AIDS and launching the Invictus Games for injured service personnel. Princess Diana was a prominent campaigner on behalf of victims of HIV-AIDS, landmines and cancer. However, According to Mr. Marwick, his mother also left a more physical mark on the prince. He explains, on Harry's right hand there is a mark or scar showing, where it indicates that something significant happened and changed his life at an early age. This was most likely the death of his mother. Princess Diana was killed in a Paris car crash on August 31, 1997, when Prince Harry was just 12 years old. Mr. Marwick went on to detect a number of other personality traits from Prince Harry's palm. He said, Harry's hand shows that he has physical courage, and possibly a little aggression at times. It shows that even though he will always return home, Harry can easily spend time away from home in other countries as an adventurer. By contrast, his elder brother Prince William will always appreciate being home after returning from his travels. Prince Harry served two tours of Afghanistan, in 2007-8 and 2012, although the first was cut short after it was reported by foreign media. He was the first royal to serve in a conflict zone since Prince Andrew during the Falklands War. Mr Marwick also believes he can determine key points in the prince's life from his palms.
He explains, on Harry's hands, it shows he really became independent in his late twenties, possibly around the age of twenty-eight years old. This was perhaps an emotional time for him with making decisions in his life regarding family, friends and relationships. There will be a significant change, which will affect Harry's life, which will take place in his late forties. Mr. Marwick and a third-generation palm reader, following the path set by his mother and grandfather. As well as his consultancy work he has made numerous media appearances, including on Sky TV and BBC Radio 4. Prince Harry is carrying out the majority of his royal engagements on Fraser Island today without his wife Meghan Markle in tow, but during his first outing a local woman could not help but compliment the Duke on his pleasant appearance. The 34-year-old was greeted by the Butchola people and took part in a traditional welcome-to-country smoking ceremony on Fraser Island. Before he started his speech under the island's satiny trees in Pyle Valley, an indigenous woman named Marilyn Clark shouted at him, Oh, here we go. He's better looking in person. Another person added, I'll second that. Prince Harry looked a little awkward and blushed over the 74-year-old woman's compliment. After the unveiling of the plaque, which was previously presented by his father Prince Charles last year, Ms. Clark told News.co.o, I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. When he came out I just thought he's better in the flesh. He better tell his wife about me. Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, is currently at the award-winning Kingfisher Bay Resort on the seventh day of her 16-day tour of Oceania. The resort boasts quiet beaches, secluded villas and a fancy healthy spa, which seems perfect for the pregnant duchess who has been left worn out following a week of engagements. Kensington Palace said in a statement, after a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. It is believed Meghan has not been suffering from morning sickness, but she has been left worn out following a series of back-to-back -back official events around Australia this past week. According to reports, Prince Harry insisted his wife should rest as he revealed pregnancy takes its toll on the Duchess. The royal couple's first major tour coincided with the announcement of Meghan's pregnancy last week, with Kensington Palace confirming the Duchess is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Prince Harry also revealed to a well-wisher yesterday he would like the royal baby to be girl. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are already disagreeing on their new royal baby's future, Radar Online reports. According to the U.S. publication, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are bickering over who will take care of their royal tot. Harry wants to honor tradition and have a royal nanny opens a new window. Like he had when he was a child, a source tells the site. His mother, Princess Diana, was very hands-on but Harry and his brother were in reality raised by the royal nanny and he wants this for his child too. But, according to Radar Meghan isn't having it. Yes, she will have professional help, but she wants her mother to help raise the baby, not someone that the family appoints, the source further claimed. The Duchess of Sussex wants to have her mother, Doria Ragland, move from California to London and help with the upbringing. She's going to find a flat. The source said. She's not moving into the palace, but they will find a place for mommy, and mommy's going to help out. Doria sent fans wild last month after she was spotted taking baby care classes. The 62-year-old former social worker and yoga instructor is reportedly taking classes as the cradle company in Pasadena, Los Angeles, the Daily Star reported. The Duchess of Sussex's mother has been learning vital skills such as first aid from specialist coaches in L.A. Meghan wants to avoid hiring staff if possible once her first child arrives. The thought of having her mum move in with them and take on the role of baby nurse is the best possible solution to that. Even more so because it's something Doria has always wanted to do anyway. A source added to the paper, 
she's learned everything from breastfeeding and lactation consultancy, basic baby care, CPR and first aid. The course also covers sleep training for later on, weaning and helping the new mother with her recovery.